Good morning from this sunny, beautiful summer's day in Brussels. I'm on the Grand Place right now and look how magnificent this place is. It's just phenomenal. Now, I'm here for a few days on a little Benelux tour and what is Belgium famous for? Famous for its beer, famous for its chips and famous for its food. And you know what? We're going to see if that's true if it's any good at all. So let's walk around Brussels, meet some locals, and have some fun. So I've been here many times, but the first time I've actually seen this building accessible. And let's see what it is. It's Hotel de Ville de Bruxelles, the Brussels Town Hall. That's why everybody keeps getting married here. But look. Talk about a magnificent town hall. Wow. Anyways, lovely town hall, but let's check out the beers. And what better place than the beer temple? Let's go and have a look inside. Bonjour. Ça va? Le grand verre. Vous servez de la bière là-dedans? Non. non hein? Dites-moi, vous avez combien de bières ici? Combien de bières? Vous savez pas? Mille et des. Mille et des. Oh là là. Turns out they have over a thousand beers here. Merci, madame. They have over a thousand beers in this shop. Where would you even begin? Look at this. That is crazy and it just keeps going on and on. That just keeps going on and on. That's crazy. C'est toutes des bières belges? Vous avez plus de 1000 bières belges. Incroyable. Mais vrai. Incroyable, mais. Voilà. <laughs> So, it turns out there's over a thousand beers in this shop and they're all Belgian. Merci beaucoup, au revoir. Well, fortunately they're not cold. So let's find a nice cold beer to enjoy on this hot summer's day. So our first stop is right here, a place called Pappy's and they're famous for their chips and so are the Belgians by the way, or French fries. Yes, French fries here. Hello my friend, Hello. how are you? How are you? Good. Very good. Can I get uh, one uh, French, fries? French fries? Yes. All they make here are, are chips or Belgian fries, not to call them French fries because they're very particular about them. And by far, probably the most popular food here in Belgium. And let's see. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Look at these guys. Double fried. Basically, what they do, they'll cook them, then take them out of the oil, let them cool down, and then cook them again. And it creates this crunch. Mm. Amazing, but with this goes another Belgian delicacy and it's right next door, let me show you. So another thing they're very famous for here is a thing called American, which is a sandwich, well I'll show you. So I'm sat right next door to where we got these and I want to show you something else that is very common in Belgium and that's a sandwich called American. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Very good. Just want to know how you are. 
Where are you from? Beautiful. Oh, come here on the floor. Did you know you were from Bulgaria? Where are you from? I'm from Bulgaria. How are you? Good? What are you doing? No, from Shumen. Shumen? Yes. Ah, Shumen's coffee. Yes. Bira, bira. Shumen's coffee. Where are you from? So this is it guys, now I'm going to go over to the table with my uh, frites and uh, yeah, have this typical Belgian sandwich. Merci mon ami. So guys, I've really tucked into this a little bit. This is what you call American, and it's basically ground beef with spices, not cooked, in a sandwich with some salad, in beautiful crunchy baguette, and these amazing Belgian fruits. Mm. Amazing, guys. And to top it off, a lovely Belgian beer, Jupiler. So I've landed on this little tiny strip here. And I think it's the United Nations of foods. You can have absolutely anything from Korean to Lebanese, Belgian, Chinese, Greek. Definitely a good variety of food here. I suppose being the capital of Europe and the headquarters of the European Union, they must have a lot of expats here, so a lot of genuine foods as well. I think this place might have what I'm looking for in terms of beer. <laughs> So, he's going to bring us out what they call a meter with a variety of beers and uh, yeah, one stop shop. We'll try all the beers right here. Well guys, we decided to do a sampling, so let's see which one's our favorite. Very fruity, kind of a grapefruit taste to it. Oh. They're really tasty. It's more like my kind of beer. What is that? These are really interesting. Strong. They seem to get stronger as you go along. Oh shit, <laughs> Shot whiskey by the sound, the taste of it. Anyways, I'm going, going to liquidate these and then I'll let you know which one was the winner. <laughs> you want to hold it while I take a picture of you, madam? No. Huh? Where are you from, Maganda? Oh, Saka Pupunta. Sabahai. Matukulo. Matukulo. Well, guys, after these 10 beers, they were all good. 
couldn't even start to tell you which one was the best, but that's Belgium for you. Now, let's go and find some mussels. So next stop, guys, mussels. Now, I've been recommended a place that do these, I think they come by the kilo, which I'm assuming is going to be a lot, of, a lot of mussels. But it seems like I've ended up in a neighborhood that's a bit more, more shady. Um, a bit away from the Grand Place. And if you can see behind me, they're nicking someone. And uh, yeah, it just seems a bit less safe here. So let's walk, Google says down there, but it always steers me wrong. But we're gonna head down there and see if we can find this muscle place. Looks like someone's hanging out their laundry. As I said, we're off the beaten track now. It's looking a little bit more grotty than the uh, center part. Someone smashed your window, huh? Looks like his car got smashed and robbed. I don't know if these muscles were such a good idea. I'm hoping they're worth it. So on my way to the uh, muscles, I've come across this little, little van here called the Havana Club and it's a hot day so let's let's have something to cool off. Merci beaucoup. It's really nice, strong. This fine gentleman is preparing me a passion mojito and he's just giving me a passion for it. Oh, it's gorgeous. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get to the muscle place. I'm just sat here having mojitos. Let's keep going. Next mojitos, buddy. Merci, mon ami. Merci à vous. My new friend here who set me up with some amazing... Well, I had one mojito, then a pasha mojito, then a gin tonic. And now I'm ready to walk through these, well, rougher neighborhoods to find my muscles. Let's go. Guys, look what I've come across and wherever I travel I always agree with this when you support small businesses you're supporting a dream and I couldn't agree with that more as you know when I travel in Bulgaria or whatever if I can avoid the malls the big shopping centers and buy locally I always do because you know you're helping an individual a family not some big corporation somewhere that really couldn't care less whether I bought from them or not and uh, yeah to me it means a lot it really helps the local community thrive and uh, I would suggest that you guys when traveling try and venture into the local businesses buy the pancakes from the little places in Brussels or the Fritz from the little places don't go into McDonald's for a portion of fries Go and see the little place that's got the best chips in the world. Now, I think we're almost there. I think I've gotten lost. I've heard so much about these Belgian mussels that I'm hoping it'll be worthwhile. I don't know, maybe it's the uh, two mojitos and the gin tonic kind of did it, but I thought it was closer than this. We're almost there. I'm almost there, guys, but if I saw a car like this, I'd have to stop. Look at this. Haven't seen one of those in a long time. Fiat Uno, I think, from the 1970s. Anyways, almost there. So I finally made it, guys, and it's called Muscle Mongers. And they've got a lovely terrace here. 
and one across there right by the fountain I'll see what place they have available and uh, let's see how these mussels are because we've gone through a lot to get them how are you my friend ah no 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 Comment ça va? Ça va bien toi? Tout va bien? Ouais, ouais. Ça va bien. Bien. Ouais, bien, 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 bien. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Bon, mon ami, des moules frites. Vous avez des moules frites? Bien sûr. On va vous donner les meilleurs. Bon, tu vas m'amener les meilleures moules frites de Bruxelles parce que la vérité, j'ai fait le tour et euh, tu ne peux pas t'imaginer ce que j'ai passé pour arriver là. Donc, euh, les moules frites et. Euh, Bien délicieuse. Pas de problème. On est connu pour ça. Pour vous voyez, moules seulement. C'est tout, tout ce que vous faites, non voilà. Bah super. On fait aussi des autres plats, mais moules, c'est notre spécialité. Bah super. Je te remercie. Merci. Excellent. Merci beaucoup. One thing's for sure. Everywhere you go in Brussels, you got this lovely baguette. It doesn't matter where you eat. And this amazing butter and the smell of weed. Someone smoking a joint around here. That's why I keep two glasses more. Okay. Thank you. Well guys, I'm back in civilization. To get to those mussels was a bit of a trek. But I'll tell you, really, really worth it. If you're ever in Brussels, go to the mussels monger. Lovely. Now I just need something sweet. And I'm gonna go to one of the major landmarks here. A little boy called the mannequin piss that pisses all day, basically. And around there, I know that there are a few waffle places. So, next stop, Belgium waffles. Let's go. So, right up ahead there is a very important landmark here in Brussels. And what kind of a guide would I be showing you Brussels without one of its most famous landmarks? Look, he's everywhere. And that's the little pissing boy called the Mannequin Piss. And the amount of tourists here, as you can see, it's vast. I'm thinking this is the place to find my my waffle as well. Let's bring you closer. The little pissing boy, the mannequin piss. Thank you, thank you, Shall we eat the waffle? No way. And right here, we've got the famous waffles. I didn't expect that. Oh guys, take a look. You have a choice between penis, vagina, or a little pissing boy. Why not? Let's try one. I don't think that's for kids. It's for mommy. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's for mommy. That looks good. Yeah, it looks it's really good. <laughs> so I will have, what is it, penis or vagina, yeah? Let's try the vagina. I see everybody's buying penises. I'll try the vagina. Okay, good. With, uh, is it good just like that? Brazilian or? Brazilian is just uh, hazelnut like this. Just hazelnut, yeah. yeah. You must add chocolate or something else. I think so, yeah? Makes it better. Yeah. Okay, let's make it. What kind of chocolate? Uh, what's the difference? Nutella, chocolate, white chocolate, Let's try the Nutella. Where are you from? Romania. Ci faccio bene. Forte bene. Forte bene. This is with... Brazil. Brazilian. Brazilian, yes? yes? That's what you call Brazilian. Yeah. Well, so I've got my vagina with uh, Brazilian style, yeah? <laughs> Let's try that. Molto mes. Dai vedere. Oh. Oh. But the texture is amazing and the chocolate Nutella and hazelnuts how could this be wrong well guys that's the end of my Belgian culinary trip with you guys I certainly enjoyed it the food in Brussels is always amazing and this was a good laugh I hope you enjoyed it guys and remember enjoy your journey